Welcome to Bible 180 Habakkuk. Many scholars suggest it was written around the time the Neo-Babylonian Empire emerged and destroyed the Assyrian Empire in 612 BCE. Instead of confronting God's people with their sins, Habakkuk instead addresses Yahweh in hopes that he will answer his questions and complaints. Habakkuk is struggling to maintain his faith in a God who claims to be good and powerful while Habakkuk's world is filled with pain, evil, and injustice. He needs Yahweh's answers or some help to maintain his faith. Habakkuk's first complaint is, how long will you suffer injustice? Why are you tolerating perversion among your own people? Your word is paralyzed and you're doing nothing. Yahweh replies, look, here comes my answer. The Babylonians are ruthless and violent people who will punish my people. Habakkuk says, whoa, not the answer I was looking for. This just makes things even worse. I mean, those guys are cruel and nasty. You won't tolerate our wickedness, but you will use the wicked to punish us? What gives? Are we no more important to you than a bunch of fish caught in a net? Will this cycle of wickedness ever stop? Yahweh responds, the greedy and the arrogant are temporarily puffed up, but the righteous will live by his faith. Indeed, the wicked will be punished. Those who pile up stolen goods will be robbed. Those who get rich off unjust gains will lose everything. Woe to the nation that builds itself up by bloodshed, like Babylon. The Lord uses people in the nations, but even those whom the Lord uses will face judgment. You are all accountable, accountable to me, nations and peoples. Don't depend on other gods. They're going to fail you. If you want help and guidance, don't go to others, but to the Lord in his temple. Listen. You want a solution to wickedness? Shut your mouth and listen to what the Lord tells you. Habakkuk is overwhelmed and humbled by the Lord's answers. He says, truly you are good and powerful. Your glory fills the heavens and your praise fills the earth. When you come to punish, none can oppose you. Not even the earth itself could stand up against you. Habakkuk gets his answer, but the only answer by which we can live or stand, faith. The wicked one is puffed up, but he will not last. The righteous will live by his faith. The only answer to the crisis and cry of injustice is to be found in the temple. You want an answer? Listen and go where God has given you his answer in his temple, in Jesus. Go to the place where God has promised to be, where sacrifice and forgiveness are found, at the foot of the cross. Faith is waiting for the Lord to deliver, trusting in God's plan of salvation instead of giving up due to our troubles or to pain or injustice. This is the righteousness that comes through faith. Nations wax and wane, but the Lord Almighty will judge and deliver the faithful. Habakkuk ends with this beautiful statement of faith. Though the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no fruit, though there is no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior.